question, what are the consequences for me of doing this? There's another point here of perceptual perceptual connection. I talked about the fact, this is, this is mainstream science, that we live in a narrow band of frequency called visible light, which is so tiny, it's, it's almost laughable. And visible light is the only frequency band that we see. It's the only visual world is all within this tiny band. And beyond it is infinity, infinity of consciousness, of realities, all of it. But we are stuck on this one television channel. And the head is connected to this channel. The, 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 the head perceives everything through the five senses. And the five senses are connected to this channel. So if you only come from the five senses, this channel is all you will ever perceive. And it's all you will ever get um, your fix on reality from. And this has been... The game, this is how the cultures work this, because it's all psychological, is they have manipulated people to perceive only through the five senses, which is basically their head. And to isolate our perception in this narrow band of frequency and then control the information we receive within that frequency. This is control of the media, control of Silicon Valley and all this stuff, control of education which is indoctrination. And so what they're doing is they're isolating our consciousness in this narrow band and then programming that isolated consciousness with a perception of reality. This is the human world. And it's because of this programmed uh, perception that people are so, not all of them, but it is changing, but the vast majority are so predictable. I call them press enter people. I go around the world, but I used to, and, um, and I see different cultures, but in, this, in, the, in certain situations, you see people react in the same way. It's, it's like a program. I, I, you know, I, it is a software program. But this here, there's a point of, there's a vortex here. So they call it in the East a chakra, wheel of light, because actually on an energetic level, that's what it looks like. And this is the true spiritual heart. It has an effect on the physical heart, but this is the true heart. You know the um, connection that people have between the heart and love? It doesn't come from the physical heart, although they, they do that, obviously, in the symbol. It comes from this. And what is love? People think love is, oh, I love you, darling. Well, that means, you know, that's you know one level of it. But love is beyond that. Love always do what it knows to be right, irrespective, indeed it doesn't even consider consequences, because to consider consequences would be to consider not doing what you know to be right, and love, the heart connection that takes you out of this five sense reality, where you can access other levels of perception that gives you a much greater uh, understanding of the reality that you are experiencing. When you, when, you, when you operate only through the five senses, you are in this world and you are of this world. When you operate from here, you are in this world physically, but you are of a much more expanded world in terms of your perception of the reality you're experiencing. So when people go through this heart opening process, suddenly they look at the same world they were looking at before. Looks totally bloody different. You've been through it. I've been through it. It's like, this is not the same world I, I, I was in before because your perception, your perspective is now expanded of what you are actually looking at. And so... So love is the answer, David. Yeah, when you open this, um, it's not just, like I say, love in the sense of people perceive love, which has been totally, you know, love has been totally discredited in, in that sense. 
you, you have to use, use words like unconditional love to get anywhere near it. You will look at a situation and you will say, what do I know to be right here? And you do it. There's no, oh, but what are the consequences for me? Because to, to, to ask that question would be to consider not doing what you know to be right. And love, in its true sense, would never do that. 